Thank you to everyone for coming during such an incredibly busy week. Um, today, we are very honored to have Professor Petko, who will talk about our equilibrium in the and Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for having this talk. So, the outline of this talk is at this structure. First, I'm going to do present some aspect very very complex way. Oh, the first part I'm going to try to not put too many problems, but in the second one, of course, we need many of the of the problem. So the problems are in this section. And then I'm going to present, present some new results that we have obtained here with my study and problem. So the, the full representative model problem comes for the dynamics of and bodies, which has an alternative shape, and they are under, under the personal uh, interaction. Uh, the variables that we account for are the position vector, the center of mass, its body, and the matrices giving us the rotation of this. So, the position vectors usually are vector from and the matrices are. Uh, uh, orthogonal matrices. We don't know but you can consider the problem in arbitrary ways. Also, a study that was the sort of one which sent the end of the So, initially, we have n position method and attribute matrices. And uh, we can reduce the number of variables by considering uh, coordinates. So the position vectors in a center mass of each body increase by one. And also, you may assume that some of the bodies are as uh, some of the as in this one. You don't have to take care of the minus for this one. And taking that into account, the configuration space is uh, this one. And uh, as I told before, we are going to approach this dimension. It's free. Yeah. <laughs> so there are a lot of variables in this problem. In the study of this system, there are several ways in which you can increase the number of variables to complexity of the problem. Sometimes you have physical assumptions in which you say that the body that, that are considering has certain mass distribution, maybe it's a sphere or an ellipsoid. The ellipsoid is the gate that we are going to study later. Sometimes uh, you study rotational and orbital dynamics in separate ways. Of course, there is a lot of interaction between the dynamics. Or another way in which you can uh, simplify the problem is by assuming that all the bodies are polymates. This is the classical end body problem. And uh, I hope that I am not confusing that, but I know because the case in which you have extended bodies is the full gravitational uh, end body problem. And the case in which you have polymates is when you move to the world full. During my talk and not mixing terms, but this without this uh, sub main mass. And of course, considering the less amount of bodies previous. And uh, for this problem, there are very well known uh, uh, realizations. Some of them are iterating. So the, the, the most in simple cases, it is in which we have only one body, of course. We have uh, a one body which is a point mass. Then we have a free particle system, which is in the trivial. We have an extended body, we have the free rigid body, then the free rigid body, which is in the but not trivial. And for n equal to, we have the two body problem, which after. Uh, Using some of the similes in the building, also the Kepler system, also the Kepler. And that's 
the last one of the variable cases. And you assume in the case n equal to that you have extended bodies, then it is not a variable anymore. It is a very complicated system. And for n greater or equal than three, then not even assuming that the bodies are on messes. Uh, no, no, this the case A equal to three has to say that uh, the history and it's very important. Uh, the case A equal to three point messes. Uh, one of the most important cases here, the first one, which is not in the case of the uh, point messes. So there are some special solutions in the case of the opposing system. There are some special solutions, solutions uh, which has been studied, even if we don't have the general solution for the systems. Uh, there are several solutions which are important because they they give some kind of uh, skeleton which uh, all the basic cases organized, but of course, we do not have a clear idea how is everything organized for the non integral cases. But those solutions may help, and also, those solutions are very relevant for the application for the thing. So, in the everybody probably would have solutions that are defined a lot of times. Some of solutions, and solutions which are not, and those ones are uh, can be classified in the, the, the collisions, in which all the particles collide to the center of mass, or there are, maybe there are parcel collisions. But there are also singular solutions which doesn't have to do with anything. And one of the particles goes to the there are also choreographies, which are pretty solution which uh, all the particles are in, in the same form. And also very important, the self-similar solution, which are very homothetic solution, which all the orbits, all the points move in, in a straight line uh, that goes uh, to the mass system. The homothetic ones are Really important, all the collisions uh, in the ASPD tends to a positive solution. So they're very important for that reason. And then we, we arrive to the kind of solution that we are trying to find here, the real motion. Let me take a solution. So the side of the very important in the process of us. Uh, as I say, that it's also a very important uh, uh, application of those solutions. Some examples are given here that uh, many models is, is not a big cost. And for example, GPA satellite map deployed to choreograph this type of solution. And uh, the relative behavior are very important in the design of space missions. For example, there is a, a recent example uh, which the James Harvey telescope has been uh, deployed in an orbit which is near one of the relative behavior, the three body problem. Um, the, the, the satellite is not exactly in the L2 point, but it's in a, in a orbit around this point. Of course, this uh, point is, is not uh, stable, uh, which makes that you have to make corrections in the, in the position because it tends to go away, although it does not go away very, very fast. But the, this feature, the, the instability of this point, is at the same time a thing, thing because as you have a, an, an, a, an unstable solution, there are flow which is coming 
this point. So there are all bits that you can use to reach that point. Less effort. It wouldn't that way. Well, uh, now is when the big problems comes. So I, I said, try to keep it clean, but uh, I know that it's going to say to me very busy. So, but I apologize for that. <laughs> so we have here the Newton equation for the full dimensional and body problem, and the complexity course is given here in the expression of the force and the torque that the bodies uh, are subjected to. And then uh, have to take into account that those integrals are computed are total integral computed over all the the volume of each body and the complexity of those expressions is really big even just for two volts. So sometimes those expressions are expanded and you keep it at the point in order to get something, but even very early conditions, they are still a very complicated system. Well, as it is customary, we move on the Newton equation to need an error equation. It gives a uh, better expression for the rotational part. The orbital part remains the same, but the rotational part is expressed in the body frames. And uh, we, we claim, in a joint work with one of my students, Edward uh, Carmen, that this uh, system can be stressed into the Hamiltonian form. This was this this task was done by this equation, but two. But we did it for for arbitrary uh, an arbitrary number of bodies. So the previous equation can be expressed in this very compact form as. You find the expression of the Hamiltonian, of course, the corresponding Poisson structure in which this equation are given. And uh, that's what I'm going to show you, you know, way to see from this. But uh, the Hamiltonian is given by. Um, this one? Yeah, this one. Oh, maybe it's too much. Ah, that's right. So the Hamiltonian is given, of course, by the total energy of the system. And the Poisson structure, the Poisson structure is given here. For the uh, orbital part, it's pretty simple. It's just standard detective uh, matrix. And for the rotational part, it's a generalization of what the Matikeski did after some rearrangement. It's not, it's not the, the, just mm, the same matrices that, that, that Matikeski gave and put it in a regular uh, form, but uh, a little bit more, it's some arrangement. But yes, it's just a generalization. So this Poisson structure is also endowed with some uh, Casimirs. Uh, and those Casimirs, by fixing those Casimirs, we are going to find the phase state of the system. Because the Poisson structure that we uh, before is defined in R up to the 18 times 10, which is not the uh, Phase space of the system. So, in order to find this space, you have to fit one of the index this this Poisson structure. And the, the, that's what I was saying. And, and uh, 
So the, the synthetically that you have to, to choose is this one, which is nothing else that but it's describing the set of tonal matrices. This is a level pattern of the sphere. We still need to remove this territory, and that would that be some that uh, we have to divide out the, this, this spread axon. So by taking the casimir and dividing out the discrete axon that I give here, we finally finally arrive to the uh, to the phase space, which is given by the R three and S of C. Well, still, when it uh, ways to find the simplification of the problem, and we are going to assume that the problem is for the ordinary variables, so we will remove, remove one of the position vectors. And we take some of the bodies, S bodies, uh, with symmetry, uh, spectral symmetry. We are removing part of the uh, attitude matrices. And uh, those are the consequences that we, that we get from those uh, simplifications. We are uh, increasing the number of orbital variables, and we are eliminating some of the matrices. And the remaining matrices of the non spectral uh, bodies, they, as we are assuming that they have two moments of inertia equal, then we are not needing uh, masks anymore in order to keep track of, of keep track of the anatomy of the body. So the only thing that we need is the symmetry axis. We, we replace each matrix for by the last column of this matrix, which is giving us the, the orientation of the symmetry axis. So the new piece of space here and here, and as you can note. The, the professional part has a uh, more simplified uh, form of okay, the type of the yeah, should be an M. Uh, M. Well, um, then after all those simplification, the original Hamiltonian that we saw before uh, um, has this form. And it has the advantage that for the personal part, we don't need to move to the, the body frame. And everything that we express in the same thing, you know, the variables are expressed in the uh, spatial frame. And uh, also, this K thing here, which is fundamental for the analysis of the material, and uh, this, this part uh, right in. Red color. And uh, in the first study of the blood, we came up with the two angular problem that we did with Edward We use all the symmetries of the, of the problem and we reduce everything. We, we, we went to the multiple space and, and we pose an equation there in order to find the we did. And uh, this is covered, but uh, was not the best uh, idea because the the equation that we find there in the full space for the blood linear linear equation, but you are not expecting any other things. So we were not surprised by that, but indeed you to get, I think, little information from those equations that we. In our first study. But then uh, Holger came up with the idea of not reducing everything to the final point, and by using the symmetry, uh, and the symmetry is using by taking into account that potential is greater in terms of the imbalance. So, so this, is, this, this is going to be a very, very even fundamental in the analysis. Of the blood magnetic because everything is going to be reduced to still be a study linear instead of nonlinear. So, this apparent magical simplification from the beginning 
is given by this by taking a lot into account this part and not reducing uh, to uh, this material. Uh, so the Hamiltonian was in the other slide, and here is the new Boson structure, which is lighter than the other. But we, as we can see, we only have one of the axes instead of the whole matrices for each one. And here we have the equation, which is always expressed in a very compact way, once you know the Hamiltonian and the expression of the Boson structure. And the, the, the specifically the, the equations are given by those expressions. And from those equations, we, we introduce an answer of what are the industry. And then we get a for the media inside. And it's this next. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, okay. So this one here give the condition in order to have a relative equilibrium. And then those here doesn't seem to be linear equations because we have here the, the part of the the potentials, but those complexities that we have so before. But if we use the the fact that the, this potential okay, depends on the on the on the invariant associated with the potential symmetry. We have that those partial symmetries here, but the, the, sorry, those partial derivatives of the potential here are expressed in a very convenient way. And this way is given here. So those partial the derivatives are given like that, uh, according to that. Be expressed this way, and we can use these coefficients multiplying the, the vectors. Those are the R R vectors, vectors giving pointing to the center of mass of this body, and A G are the the axis which is the attitude of its body. So the coefficient that we have here are in the constant. That are multiplying those vectors. So by, by this, by considering this form of the potential, we have expressed our part of the derivatives as a linear expression in the variables. And all the nonlinearity has been, you may say, encapsulated in those terms. So if we plug in together with Get yeah, that the initial uh, equation in relative equilibria are those ones. Uh, and those equations, so I said before, are very good for that because are linear, but they are not linear only in the variables of the problem, but also in the coefficients here. So if we look at those expressions, the coefficients, the part of the derivatives the, of the potential, uh, so those expressions are also near in those points. So we may interpret this system in two ways. We may consider uh, one. we may consider a system in which uh, those those uh, coefficients, which are the derivatives, uh, those coefficients are the coefficients of the linear system, and this one are the variables. Uh, but we can consider it the other way around. We can consider also that the variables giving us the axis and the position vector are coefficients, and coefficients are the variables. It corresponds with with those systems in here and one and two are matrices. And we have for the first uh, case we have an homogeneous system and for the second one the general is not only. So we are going to look is not solving this one, which well, 
by solving this one, we, we will find the activity. But uh, in order to solve it, you have to say what what potential you deal with, and you have to uh, go to a place and try to solve it. First. But what we are going to focus in is in, in the other system. And we are going to uh, analyze the conditions for, for the solvability of this. So the conditions for the solvability of this system are going to be as the conditions with the relative linear are X possible. And uh, this did give us a lot of information because it, it, the information that we get from, from this other system is what are the uh, configurations that allows for a relative equilibrium and what are the configurations that are uh, prohibited? So what we are going to do is use those equations to review one very well-known uh, uh, system, which is the case of a sphere and, as, and an axis body. This is the complexity of the to the minimum. Uh, but still, it's not in the area, of course. And this case has been studied for several authors. Almost everything I think I thought was said about that. And uh, at the first time we chose this system as a way of seeing if we are the last one on the list and check that everything was. But uh, after analyzing the question, you may wonder if they give you anything new uh, that has not been in the, in the literature. And I think this is the case. So, this case, the sphere and the ellipsoid, uh, the system gives six cases, six, six possible cases, and all the cases are classified by the rank of the vectors involved. So R is the vector quality, uh, one of the center of mass, the center of mass of the sphere to the ellipsoid. A gives the orientation of the ellipsoid, and E3 is the axis in which the rotation are okay. But the, 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 we are free to choose any, any rotation axis, so we choose then if everything has rank one, what we have is that two bodies are by that. And uh, we have the, the, the ellipsoid in the top pole of the sphere. Then, and there is no additional condition. You, you, you don't have to impose anything to any other person. This configuration is uh, in principle possible. Of course, we are not uh, paying attention to the possibility of the bodies uh, destroying each other and making another bodies out of the system. And then uh, we have another uh, possibility. Uh, this case is also, I think, it's well known. And uh, in this case, the vector uh, giving the orientation of the so is pointing in any direction which is perpendicular to the it is this one and then now we move to the cases in which we see that we observe in, in, in natural objects they are not together and uh, for this case uh, we have that uh, the the Radius vector that gives the position of mass and the uh, axis of symmetry of the body, they are in the same line. And when that happens, the only possibility is that we have a Lagrangian equilibrium. Well, well Lagrangian is a new term that I am introducing, and uh, by this classical literature to, to distinguish by Lagrangian and Lagrangian equilibrium, and it has to do with, uh, with a feature that uh, is in the n-body problem, not in the n-body problem. 
In the animal neurology, if you have a blood behavior, everything has to be in a plane. But when you, if you have um, extended bodies, then this is no longer in force, and you may have equilibrium in which one of the bodies is not in the same plane as the other. So the case in which all the bodies are in the same plane, I mean the center of mass of all bodies are in the same plane. This case is called Laranja, and the case for the case is non Laranja. So uh, this configuration is only possible when uh, we have a Laranjian equilibrium. That there are not uh, non Laranjian equilibrium with all vector at the same line. And this is, I think, is one of the new uh, information we have from our analysis because. If I not recalling but in the analysis of yes, because that's paper in which everything was stated. The, the in the comparison they allow for, for non Lagrangian in media, but they say that this is not prohibited. They allow for uh, non Lagrangian in media in which you have this configuration, but we observe that this is a new information in, in this. This system. Also, the same happened for the case of the fluid equilibrium. This name is classical because the, the Edison is like uh, something floating in the water. And well, at least this is what I think. And uh, the same happened in this kind of equilibrium. You only have this equilibrium when. Uh, we are in, in a Lagrangian type equilibrium. So, for the last two cases, we have restrictions on the possible uh, configuration for the athletic equilibrium. And the, again, we uh, now we, we arrive to the case of the Lagrangian equilibrium it's because all the previous cases, this one was. We have all the bodies in the same thing. And uh, here we have that when the rank of the vectors of the vectors mode is two, and we have that none of them are in the same line. Yeah, because the, the cases before or this this pair of this one or this one was, was in the same line. When uh, all the vectors are not in the same line, but with the ranks not who we have the possibility of the non Lagrangian equilibrium, in which bodies are moving in different orbits, but those orbits are not orbits. Again, we have here a condition for this equilibrium to happen, which has not given before, and it's this one. So if you want an equilibrium like that, you need, okay, the x and y components of the vector r and a are whatever you want, or, or I don't know if it's whatever you want, we don't have condition then. But the last component of those vectors has to satisfy, uh, to satisfy this relation, which uh, I think is also sorry, so should we r and a the same yeah, uh, I have pictures. Yeah, something else. the picture saw something else. But the, yeah, uh, uh, the three vector, the blue one, the red one, and the green one should be in the same plane. But uh, yeah, should be yeah, like, should be like a, yeah. <laughs> was not very this one. Uh, but yeah, let's imagine that all of them are in the same plane. That's the case. The, the end is going in. Yeah. So, for the morning, which is the English one. Well, yeah, it's just the three dimensional position. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I think, <laughs> yeah, those, those uh, pictures were made in the last minute. And uh, <laughs> I had the, uh, the help of one of my students in my department. And he did a really great work. And uh, it was helping me to very late in, in, in Chile. 
and I have yet to have time to to get in practically to this. But let's use a little bit of the animation and let's think that everything can exist. And the next and the last case is this one. And here we have that the three vectors are generating a non uh, zero volume. Uh, independent vectors. And in this case, there is no possibility of Lagrangian idea. That, that was, uh, this is a very well known fact that when you have vectors in, in a very position, then you don't have uh, non Lagrangian equilibrium. And so, when the non Lagrangian equilibrium implies that only this component. It is component as it is still. But what we get from our analysis is that also the third component of the vector A has to be zero. So uh, you are not allowed to have an equilibrium in which your 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 body is like that, like that to the organ. So the 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 body has to be the axis of symmetry also in the plane motion. And we then find that uh, this axis has to be perpendicular as this picture so maybe it's another individual with respect to the position vector, but it has to be <laughs> but, uh, uh, but uh, it has to be uh, for sure in the plane. So what we have found here is more or less we have the same thing that the, the, we, we has the same thing that in the literature has been described before, but there are some uh, complements information here. And now we we have to analyze cases in which more bodies are involved or there is no sphere at all, no matter what is this sphere. So what is next is uh, the following next is that we have to study those systems which are the following ones, in which here, for example, uh, we have to study a sphere and it's only M is equal to that two ellipsoids. Also, we may increase the number of bodies here yeah, we have three body mm -hmm. with two spheres and uh, one ellipse. So this case is the minimum increase on, on the complexity of the system, and they give us uh, a really big increase in the number of cases that we have to analyze because uh, previous, previously we have only six cases. And any of those one uh, gives you 28 cases to analyze. It can be reduced a little bit because there are some cases which are analogous. So you can reduce those 28 cases to 20. Uh, you can not uh, still be less than those, those cases. And uh, also the Condition that you obtain there for those 20 cases are a little bit more elaborated than the case that we have been studied. But there are some, uh, some similitudes with the case of the sphere and the ellipsoid. And that, that at least it's just mm, not too many, too many systems we have studied. There are some conjectures that you may uh, think of. For example, it seems like every time you have your axis and position vector in the same line, it's impossible to, to have a non Lagrangian equilibrium. So, this could be a conjecture. Uh, I'm going to be difficult to prove because you should prove it for any arbitrary. It's impossible to, to analyze the same infinite amount of uh, linear system. So I don't know how would you uh, 
prove that, but it seems to be uh, a theory that I would like to think of. And also, I I would like to think about the homotopic case, the for the case of the end body problem, we have a complicated solution. And here, in the case of the full end body problem, we have the relative behavior. There is no, there is no analogous to the homotopic solution. I wonder if we can find something, uh, some kind of solution with other generalization of the homotopic solution. Maybe. The case in which all the axes are along the same the same line and uh, the position vector, maybe those ones can be seen and as a generalization of the homotopic case. Um, and uh, I also wonder if they have the same role that the homotopic case which are uh, the new case of the police. So this is another question I think is interesting. And then, well, here are the preference system. I have been uh, using this uh, something uh, for this work, and that's all. Thank okay. you very much. Are there any questions in person or online? This is a very simple question. So, um, so you say you reduce the system and you have linear system. Do you really like a linear system in terms of you yeah. know matrix of real numbers? Yeah. And then the issue is this matrix gets very big that's yeah. so then you were saying that you can't because you know sometimes you do have matrices that get bigger and bigger, but you can still say what happens. Yeah. Uh, there's some regularity in the model. Yeah, I don't know because we don't have a system uh which we are looking to. But the thing is that the, 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 the size of this unit is so yeah. really fast. Yeah. Really fast. And I, when you have a kind of matter, I think that it's a fast computation of properties. And we have a matter of size. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but I don't know if we have some kind of regularity in those ones. Maybe. You know, maybe you can you can produce a regularity if you choose your potential. And if you choose a particular potential uh, of, the, of the system and, and you generalize this potential that by adding more bodies, then maybe yeah, I guess that the max has to be like the same thing but bigger and bigger. So, yeah. If I may add that, it's, it is a linear system whose coefficient is depend on the solution of the linear system. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about a linear system at all. It's a matrix of functions, really. and these functions depend on the scalar parts of these factors that the linear system is solved. So, mm -hmm. so, in a way, that's why it gives you necessary conditions for the higher condition to check that what the linear system gives you is actually consistent with the coefficients because the coefficients depend on the solution. I don't mean, know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can mean, choose the value of, of the scalar products, then you get actual statistics. Uh, After you do that, you have to check if mm -hmm. there are vectors, solution of the system that that really gives you the the, the value of those, those scalar products mm -hmm. because the, those. Uh, so you get a list of possibilities. Yeah, list yeah. of possibilities. But at least you may choose, for example, some specific some configuration. You you may you may are interested in knowing if some. Configuration is possible now. So you choose your left from the, the, the position that and the axis, you choose the, the position of all of them, and you plug it into the equations and you check for the for the 
so that you can do this. And it will tell you if those, if this combination will be actually is possible or not. So at least mm -hmm. if you, well, let's say that we are very interested in knowing some particular combination is possible or not. So the system that gives you a, a partial answer because if the system says that the combination is possible, well, it's possible that it's still you have to prove that this combination is a but it's as if it gives you a context in terms of so then you know for sure that what kind of configuration can be. Curious how much of the analysis was that due to the fact that you have this uh, axis symmetry by shearing through the bodies, and how much is due to the fact that you assume all the bodies have the same shape? Like, yeah, I think yeah, you detach those two in some way and still say something. I think that here is is crucial. Yeah. All right, that they that they uh, are accessing it. Uh, if they are exactly the same or not, I don't think it's so important. But the, the, the thing is that they are accessing it allows for kind of simplification if you the frame. And uh, well, you reduce the number of variables. So they, 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 I think that they just are same or they reach that pretty good. And the fact that all of them are the same shape uh, is not so important. Indeed, for this case, you have a sphere that is. And in the case you have several industries, you still have the freedom of, mm -hmm. yeah, you have two moments of inertia, yeah. each one, but the third one is not the same one. And the record, the record is there. You don't have to post it. Oh, I didn't appreciate that, right? Yeah. Second question. Sure. <laughs> uh, can you add things to the, the potential? That won't change the analysis. Like, do you know what kind of terms you could add in? For instance, like, could you add some particles? Like, what's the potential pattern depending on? Yeah. Systems carry out. Indeed, I think that you may change the potential as soon as the potential that you're replacing that is as the same. Right. Yeah. And then you 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 may consider other interests. Yeah. yeah. Or you may. All right. Does there more questions? Let's thank Francisco again.